hello all my YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, we got this very old uh, PS2 PlayStation console right here. And we're going to disassemble the system itself and to change a battery inside of the console itself. It was battery. And of course, a note, we're going to take the top off, take the screws out. I already did most of that uh, last night. The thing is very fiddly to play around with. There we have four levels, four plastics, two long screws, two short screws. I already uh, picked them out, plucked them out. Gonna need a couple of different screwdrivers, standard Phillips, a small Phillips. And we're going to take the top housing off. Now, when you take this off, be very careful because sometimes you may have your switch and the jack tool here attached to the cover. Now, first of all, we need to take out this screw and this screw, and this whole uh, piece will come off. And we put the clamp shell off to the side. But we literally have to disassemble this whole thing. And to save you some time, I will also make a couple videos and stuff here. And turn you off. And save myself the aggravation of turning this thing apart for you. Awesome. Take this piece. Careful. Make sure I don't break anything. I'll put that off to the side. Now it's time to disassemble. Be right back. Alright, now we took in off the memory controller and the memory board of this little guy here. To set that off to the side. We took the case off, we put that off to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the console oil and we got a couple more screws to somewhat uh, take out of here and I mostly loosened the other thing anyways just to make sure everything is going to go to plan hopefully and take off the power supply all you do do that flip the system oil now warning if you're going to be messing around with this PS to console, be very careful with this capacitor or any type of uh, ports on this. Declip this, move that off the side, and I'll screw all four screws for the power supply. Make sure you don't mix up any of your screws. Handle the power supply with care because you don't want to destroy it. There's your power supply. Here's what it looks like underneath. And uh, that's the capacitor you want to look out for. We'll put this off the side. And I'm going to take this heel off. That's just a whole drive caddy. Put that off to the side there. Piece of plastic. And now the fun part. I'm going to take all these tiny little screws out of here. But do yourself a favor, you got some ribbon cables, you gotta be careful when you disconnect. Take off the fan and we unplug everything here and put the new battery in. Hey. Okay. Once we got all these smaller screws out, if you want, you can take a magnet to pop the screws out as well. But do yourself a favor, don't mix up any of your uh, screws with machine screws. Let's be very careful with that. 
And now, uh, this magnet is a very weak magnet. This is not going to destroy uh, anything on the system. I'm just showing you on how to disassemble the uh, PS2 console here. But be very gently by doing it this way. Because you got some sensors, connectors, and stuff, you don't want to just uh, go yanking wires out. Now, we do have actually one more screw, I completely forgot, it's over here. We want to make sure we take that out as well, to separate the two halves. Put back out. And be well grounded as well. Take off this, the shielding, put that right out to the side. Here we have a couple of ribbon cables we have to disconnect from the board itself. Flip up this tab with a laser, flip that, this piece off, this piece, and that piece. Now the board, the and housing will come off. This is the laser assembly, uh, we'll just put that right off to the set. Now, we get to flip this over and put the battery in. Right. The battery here is underneath the shielding. We're going to gently pull it up, put this off to the side. Here is the battery. And I did get the correct weight size battery. This is a Sony battery, but this is a door saw battery, but that's okay. Any type of battery will work uh, for the system. Now, of course, this is a old system. This is 23 years old. Now, you can keep the original button cell battery if you want, or replace it completely with a whole a new battery, like I'm doing right now. Now, if you have any warranty on your system, I do not recommend doing this yourself. But again, I have no choice. I'm going to do this myself. And it's going to be awesome to replace the cell in this. And after we put the battery in, Put everything back together, and we'll go ahead and test it, and see if it works. Alright, we got a new battery inside of the PlayStation console's motherboard, and what we're going to do, we already put the shielding and heatsink back onto the board. What we're going to do is replace uh, the CD and DVD uh, drive system, and put it back on. Flip it over, and we just want to make sure we get our thing quite lined up here. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a challenge, it's a bit of a trick to get this uh, console back together. But if you're very careful, you can get it all back. What I'm doing is now putting all the ribbon cables and stuff back in. Making sure every single ribbon cable goes back into its original slot. Sometimes you may have to reset these a couple of times. Alright, and I'm just going to finish putting this back together and we'll do a good test. Alright. Now it's time to put the console back in its housing here. And we're going to do a test on it to make sure, hopefully, everything's working. I'm not going to put all the screws back in it just yet because this thing is very, very flaky. It doesn't like to be tinkled on with so much. But yeah, we did replace the battery in it. That's pretty cool. And this little guy's gonna be a little nudge. 
to get the duty back in. There we go. Now be careful with this ribbon cable as well. You can also put the screw, you can put one screw back into it for right now, for testing. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And we're going to put the lid on top. But none of the screws are going back in it, you look yet. Yep. Now it's time to test. Alright all my YouTubes, if you're ready to see if this old PS2 the fat one is going to work, I hope so, because I don't always play my PlayStation 2, but we got it hooked up to the TV, let's flip the power switch, and let's see, power's on, let's see who she leads to this, and I already tested it before, and, uh, just to make sure everything was set properly, is it going to read the memory card? Looks like it's going to read the memory card perfectly fine. And let's to make sure the time and date is right, because we did change the uh, battery on it, the backup battery on it. Put a new battery inside of it, and it looks like it's reading the time correctly. And if you're wondering what controller I'm using, just using a wireless controller. It's just easier for myself. We have two games. We have this one. This is a CD game. Pop it into the drawer. And let's see if she loads. I don't know. But this one's the flaky one. I hope it's kind of little. This one, like I said, has been flaky so many years. And it looks like it's reading this one. Hey! Well, we don't know yet. Just gotta find out the logo. And I think we're all good. I hear the disc spinning up perfectly fine. Brand new battery. Bada bang, bada boom. And there you go. The PlayStation is now working. Now, let's. Reject. Restart the system. Hey, get back here, yo. Take out the CD. Now let's see if it's going to read a DVD uh, one. Now it'll be this game right here. It's a good game, too. What's the difference of a CD game versus a DVD game? Well, because it's coded differently. Alright. Ah! And of course it all falls down. Hopefully it reads the DVDs. And it does. And there you go. That was a simple fix. And then we can put it all back together. And put all the screws and stuff, and we can now have a PlayStation 2 and play video games, I guess. Alright, if you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day from your boy Chris. Peace out. This is how you fix your PS2 battery.